Hi, this is Dan Kirsch, um, Garfield Elementary Physical Education. Um, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Garfield Phys Ed, as well as my blog and um, my YouTube channel. Um, this is a game that I've seen several PE teachers do. Uh, have yet to see it on uh, social media, so I figured I would share it. And it's a, a game that my students really, really enjoy and it's called uh, scooter basketball. It is a different way of playing basketball. Um, and so here, how it, this is how the game works. So each student, each student is given, each one of these stars here represents a student. So this would be, so the white here would be one team and the purple would be another team. So each student at the beginning of the game, each student is given a scooter. Um, and if you are able to, to have the same colored scooters uh, for each team to know which team is which, you can do that. Or if you don't have the same uh, the enough scooters for to separate your teams, you can obviously use jerseys. Um, so, for instance, uh, at, in my school, I have enough scooters to where I can have like a green team with green scooters and a yellow team with yellow scooters. So uh, that's all kind of up to your uh, equipment. Anyway, so the beginning of the game, uh, it's played pretty much just like regular basketball. So obviously you would start the game with a jump ball. Um, if you would like, that's kind of up to your, your uh, student skill level. Um, and then whoever retains possession, obviously their job is to move their scooter and try to advance the ball to the other team's side and try to shoot the ball into the other team's hoop. So, um, So for instance, on this side, I have uh, two half court games going on here. So this uh, player here on their scooter on the purple team has advanced the ball and they're trying to attempt to try and shoot the ball into the, the opponent's basketball hoop. And obviously this uh, white star is attempting to defend. Same goes over here, this white, uh, white team, white star here is to try and shoot their ball, their basketball into the other team's basketball hoop while the, uh, the purple team here, represented by the purple star, is trying to defend. Um, and that's uh, generally the idea of the game. Uh, try Just a different way of, play, of playing basketball, trying to score points by shooting the ball in each other's hoop. Um, some safety concerns, um, obviously, would be that, and this is what I do with my students, is that uh, each player must re stay on their scooter Obviously, they have to sit on their bottom. Okay, they cannot, they cannot run into each other with their scooters. No bumper cars, or anything of that nature. Um, when it comes to defending the ball, um, really gotta watch this, uh, especially for like lower level kids. Um, make sure they don't reach in or slap. I mean, their hands have to be out to try and defend. Um, they can stick their hand up trying to block the shot, and things like that. Um, some other things to be aware of, and this will be on my blog, is if, you're, if your hoops aren't able to lower, um, for instance, at my gym, my basketball hoops do not go lower than 10 feet. So a way to adapt to that is I put two big garbage cans on two folded mats stacked on top of each other as our basketball hoop. But those of you who are able to lower your basketball hoops, this would work just fine. And it, that's the game called Scooter Basketball. Um, some options for you, obviously here uh, in this diagram, in this presentation I have, um, I have two separate games going on here, a half court game and a half court game. Um, some other choices is maybe you have a full court game going on, a full court game going on where uh, this team could go this way, the ball could be advanced here, um, or the ball could be advanced here. You could put more basketballs out for more participation, but that's really kind of up to you um, in that regard. Um, again, my students really really enjoy it, just a different way of playing basketball. Uh, again, another option too is if, if dribbling the basketball is somewhat difficult, you can adapt that and have the students just work on passing skills where they're not a, they don't have to dribble the ball but they have to work on good overhead passes and chest passes and bounce passes 
working on hand placement and things like that. So this is uh, just a quick little video here, um, kind of a little quick visual aid on uh, scooter basketball. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'll post this on my YouTube channel as well as my blog. And um, let me know how, what you guys think.